Draw the graph resulting from each transformation. Label the invariant points. In part A, we'll draw the graph of y equals negative f of x. The negative in front of the function means multiply all the y values of the graph by negative 1. In other words, we are reflecting the graph about the x-axis. Begin by multiplying all of the y values by negative 1. Next, connect the dots to complete the graph. In a reflection about the x-axis, the invariant point lies directly on the x-axis. The invariant point for this reflection is 3, 0. In part b, we'll draw the graph of y equals f of negative x. The negative inside the function means multiply all the x values of the graph by negative 1. In other words, we are reflecting the graph about the y-axis. Begin by multiplying all of the x values by negative 1. Next, connect the dots to complete the graph. In a reflection about the y-axis, the invariant point lies directly on the y-axis. The invariant point for this reflection is 0, negative 2. In part c, we'll draw the graph of x equals f of y. x equals f of y represents an inverse graph. Swap the x and y values of each point on the graph. This will reflect the graph across the line y equals x. Begin by swapping the x and y values of each point. Next, connect the dots to complete the graph. In a reflection about the line y equals x, the invariant points lie directly on the line. This transformation has two invariant points, minus 4, minus 4, and minus 2, minus 2.